What's up everybody, this is Andrew 24 while here teaching you guys how to trade on CSGO Lounge and how to do certain stuff on the site. So right now, this is going to teach you how, you get how to search and how to access your inventory via CSGO Lounge. So you have a wide range of your inventory and everything you own. Basically your CSGO inventory for the most part. And if you want to search up your items and see if people are looking for those items, you just drag them on there and search so you can scroll down look for um, different types of trades that there are you can reply to them you can add offers to them and a very important concept is to check the prices don't be a fool that just trades automatically because you think the knife looks cool but realistically it's only fifty dollars but for the most part just look at the prices and look at the steam market first before you do anything with trading wise um you can write a message be nice to them or be mean it's up to you it's your personal choice um there are consequences for being aggressive and very, very aggressive actually um you can read the rules on the right hand side um so i'm gonna send this guy a i don't know how preposition preposition pro I don't even know I, was, I lost the word I was gonna use um, but you send him an offer basically that's just a virtual offer it's not a real offer where he can accept it potentially it's just there he can talk to you about it and such on that continue forward on with the trade now if you guys want to search up an item any specific item that you want can go to the search bar again and then go to the bar the box where you can type um, it's very picky on how you spell it though not how you spell how you word it like here I made a mistake where you cannot spell like that but if you just type Krambit you can find the Krambit fade very easily on the second row um, or you can just type fade and you click the star which signifies it's a knife and there you go Krambit fade you can search that up and find people that are selling Karambit fades, not selling, but trading Karambit fades. And you got a person right here, and that's basically how that works. These are very high tier knives though, so expect a lot of people to comment on this and potentially try trading with them. It's a very competitive scene when Karambit fades and bayonet um, fades and M9 bayonet fades come in the picture. And this is how to access your trades. And to add a trade, you're going to go to add trade and uh, you're gonna select your items you want to trade for so I want to trade my gut knife and I don't know what I want for it so I'm just gonna put any offer people can offer depending on what they have and I'm looking for a knife that's around the price range of my knife so that's what I put in the description and hopefully people notice that um, another key concept to notice is to put no low balling that means where people put knives are extremely cheap to yours or anything cheap to your item you posted in that's very very annoying actually to say the least um i'm not going to get too concerned about your profile you get there's reputation you get minus rep makes you a little distrustworthy okay forget about that let's go bookmarks um bookmarks are for trades that you are you have interest in and etc so you can um, bookmark it right there as you saw and it will show up there and all those bookmarks I put before have already been traded so they have been deleted now if you want to send a steam offer automatically so when the person logs in they can check out that offer and they can accept it and you can get the items for it you go to the right and you click steam offer and then you just drag the items you want to trade with them so say I want to trade this AK fire serpent for their um, Desert Eagle stat track, but that's obviously not worth it because of the price difference. So, I obviously do not do that. Um, so next thing is, um, as I said before, trading. Um, now what I do here is kind of ridiculous. I trade all this stuff for butterfly knife stat track slaughter, I believe, and that is just not even right <laughs> in the remote way. So. This is not a good trade, but then I find out he has a gut knife stain, which is in the price range of my gut knife. So I, I add him on that, on that note, 
that I want his gut knife. So you check the price of the community market as, as again to re ensure that this is a knife that's around your price range. And this one actually has a better hi price history. It didn't dip down that much as to say as my Boreal Forest where it dipped down quite a lot. Which is kind of annoying. So then I check my knife to reassure myself again is this knife good enough too? Um, I think the key concept to know when you're trading is to always, always be aware of your kni knives' prices or your items' prices, but mostly your knives because your knives do make a big difference and they do drop or raise, and you do not want to trade a knife when it starts raising. That is just the worst feeling in the world. So there you go. And on the top right, you can see notifications, trade notifications. Now this guy offers me a well-worn stain. I'm looking for a fuel tested, so... Yeah, this guy offers me a Jaguar with five Vanguard cases, keys, uh, no, you know, six cases. Um, now, that's interesting. I had to do some research on that one. But this, you can see this guy has been reported for trade scams, so it's untrustable. And the knife is not really up to par with mine. It's the same price, but it's well-worn. Well, I can get field tested for a little bit more, and it's worth it more. And it looks better than a well worn knife so I you can decline it or make a counter offer if they send that. That concludes this video guys. Um thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Do all that stuff. Bye.